I like big dragons, and I cannot lie. Hello everyone and welcome back to A Couple Books. This is Couple as per usual. Today we are going to be doing a tag video. As I promised you guys, I got a few tags to get caught up on. Unfortunately, last week, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but a lot of craziness was going down where I live. It's still going down, so filming took a hold, but we still need to get caught up. So we have some tags to do and some book reviews to get done. But today we're going to be doing a tag that I was tagged in recently by Ashley over at movie and books girl uh, she tagged me in I Heart Spring book tag she tagged me in a tag so thank you so much Ashley uh, you can find her channel link down below in the description box so please do go check her out she's amazing she's super sweet and she comments on like all my videos it's very kind of her so I'm super excited so like why not just get into it at this point okay see you guys soon so prompt number one what is spring like where you live so where I live, I live in the Middle East, so spring is quite intense in the sense that spring doesn't actually exist here. It's more like you're freezing cold and then you can't go outside because it's too boiling hot. There's like no middle ground here. I'm melting like wax here, people. I'm from Colorado where I am used to sub-zero temperatures or at least feeling like sub-zero temperatures. I'm used to winter all year round. I was the person who wore shorts and went to school in shorts in the middle of winter. I wear flip-flops in the snow. These, This is who I am. This is my identity as a person and as an individual and it has been utterly destroyed since I moved here. I It is too hot. All all the time it's just never like and then August happens and I just can't even breathe but yeah so spring doesn't happen here it just goes straight into like boiling hot summertime there's like no middle ground here there was no negotiations in place there was no middle ground or compromise reached it just is the next question is most anticipated book this spring well because like spring's a little bit different here and also because I'm filming this a little into spring um, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to choose a book that's coming out at the end of June because I, cause that just is who I am. I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater. Deal with it, okay? Sorry. It's going to be Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Boom. There it is. This is um, Riley Sager's next book. I like Riley, Sa Riley Sager. His books are quite good. He's the one who got me into thriller books. I really enjoy his works quite a bit. And this one is supposed to be like kid a college kid I think is like on a drive with a stranger and I don't really know how they got into the situation but the strange the driver might be a serial killer and he's stuck in a situation stuck in a car driving across country with a serial killer I don't really know I don't even know if that's an accurate assumption this is just what I've heard tidbits I'm trying to remain unspoiled about it because I kind of want to go in blind so that I'm just really excited because it's a really singer novel so that is obviously one I'm super stoked for. There's so many other anticipated releases I can't even begin to get into it. I am overwhelmed, but that is one for sure without a doubt. I'm very excited about picking up as soon as it reaches the shelves. The next question is, show us a book cover that makes you think of spring or reminds you of spring. Um, I'm going with Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I haven't talked about this book in a while. This was the one that got me into Naomi Novik's works. Um, I really love Naomi Novik as an author. This is the book that got me hooked onto her. And this book really reminds me of spring because as you guys can see, it's got like flowers. The, the colors are like semi-light but they're not like winter light, but they're not like summer bright, if that makes sense. And we're staying away, like it could also be a fall cover reminder, but I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of spring. I'm sorry if that's not good enough for you people. Apologies, I'm not perfect. The next question is, where are you gonna read this spring? Well, let's be honest people, I read in my bed or I read on my couch. That's probably not gonna change. I'm probably gonna be at the beach at some point. I'll probably have to read at the beach because someone is gonna force me to go to the beach at some point. And I don't know about you guys, but as a reader, the beach is a horrifying place to be because there's water and sand, like things that are not good for books. So that's gonna be a very terrifying experience and I'm not emotionally prepared for this segment of my life yet. Um, I also will probably be reading like on a hike. I don't know. I'll, I'm going to read probably wherever I go. It's going to be places probably no different than the places I go to in winter to be honest with you guys. It's like I'm not that exciting or unique. I just like go to the same places over and over again. It's like mean restaurants. I just order the same thing over and over again. So sorry. Um, I don't know why I keep apologizing in this video. Okay next question. So the next one is find a book with the sun on it. So I'm going with The Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. 
I don't know if that's the sun because obviously this is not set on Earth. It's set in another world. So it could be the sun. It could be just a, a red, a really red sun. Like I, I like suns in all shapes and colors, but it could be a really red sun. It also could be a moon that is red. It could also could be another orbital thing. I don't know what space terms are. Um, but yes, so that I'm counting it. So that. Yeah. All right, the next one is what are your favorite spring reads? Well, I'm currently in a moment and stage in my life where I don't reread as much as I used to because I just have so many books that I've discovered through booktube and other means that I just need to get to and there's just no time to waste people, okay? Life is short, life is never ending, I only have X number of years left to live, we need to get through as many books as possible. Instead of answering that, I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to answer what book am I going to be reading in spring, like for sure without a doubt, and that is going to be the book I just got in the mail yesterday and that's going to be The Shadow of the Gods by John Wynn. This just arrived here from the UK, I'm super excited to read it and I'm very stoked. It's got a big dragon on the cover so you know I'm hooked. I like big dragons and I cannot lie. 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 Alright, the next and last prompt is going to be uh, choose a book with many covers, many colors on the cover. Too many C's in that word. I, is there too many C's in that word? Colors? Covers? No, there's... No! No! It's just two C's. Just, I don't know what my issue was there. Um, I'm choosing Tyler Whiteside's The Thousand Deaths of Arbor Ben. This is a, like, thief savior type story set in a fantasy world. I haven't read it yet. I've been wanting to read it, so I picked it up, obviously, since like I'm holding it in my hands, so obviously it was, was once resting somewhere, and since then I proceeded to pick it up. Cause and effect. But um, there's so many colors on this. Look at this, people. Oh my god, it's insane. There's like so many reds. I don't know my colors. But I don't see it that way, and you know why not? Because I am colorblind. But I, I assume there's lots. I assume that you would identify that as reds and oranges and, and maybe blues and browns. But brown is really just like orange, I think, maybe, possibly. So yeah, there you go. So many colors. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. Next is tags and people. We're kind of late into um, spring, I think, for some people in some parts of the world. So I don't really know who I'm going to tag. So um, let's just say man to man, please. If you want to, you're welcome to. May over at books, if you want to. And uh, let us say, let's say Verity Books, since she just has got back from a nice, um, a nice little break. So let's welcome her back with a tag. And uh, let's do, let's do Andrew at Andrew's Wizardly, Wizardly Reads. Those channels will be down below in the description box, so um, be sure to check them all out. And let me know if you guys are going to do the tags. No pressure if you guys don't want to do it. I know spring is kind of like, I don't really know what season we're in at the moment. But anyways, I think that's it. But before I let you guys go, one final exciting announcement. We passed 250, or we're about to pass 250. 250 is somewhere in the ballpark at the moment, which means that it's time for a book giveaway. So that means that I need your guys' help with that. So in order to be put into the book giveaway and receive a free book from moi, you have to comment down below and you have to comment spaghetti. That's the word we're going to use, spaghetti. Comment the word spaghetti. It can just be spaghetti or you can write a nice comment and then throw in there some more spaghetti. Points earned if you somehow incorporate the word spaghetti into your comment somehow. And then in addition, you have to like the video and subscribe to my channel to be fully entered into the giveaway. We will be announcing it hopefully next week. We'll do our lottery system as per usual. So. Be sure to like, subscribe if you guys feel like it. Comment, comment with the word spaghetti to be in the book giveaway, because spaghetti. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. I think that's all for today, guys. So see you guys later. Bye now.